set, getting ready to go, going off to the city. Don't know what to expect. Caviar right now, it's 11.25. I guess I could pick up a few deliveries on Caviar and cross my fingers that I can snag something on Test Rabbit. Finally got to the city. After going through all that effort to get to the city, I get all the way here, I cut Caviar on for like five minutes, no requests, it's really quiet. And then I receive an order on Test Rabbit. This order is to go to Ikea and pick up, I don't know, $300 worth of stuff. <laughs> so let's go back to the East Bay, go to Ikea, pick up all this stuff, and then come back to the city. 11.51. <laughs> let's go on an adventure back to the East Bay. Fun times at Ikea, here we come. Honestly, I cannot wait to see what I get out of Ikea today. Ikea is always an adventure. People want all sorts of stuff for all different styles and all different occasions. Not a lot of traffic today. Definitely got that on my side. Earlier when I left Oakland going to the city, there was no traffic. And I'm driving back to the East Bay now and once again, there's no traffic. I'm very surprised. Usually there's like a bit of traffic somewhere along the way. Maybe later in the afternoon traffic will pick up. Yeah, it looks to be a little traffic on this side now going into the city. I may hit that on the way back, but I'm not really worried. At least I got fast track. I'll miss all the bad traffic. All right, this is completely the fifth time this week I've been to a Kia. Now the only difference about today is today's the weekend. So lines will be a lot longer than they were during the week. I really like coming here during the week because it's really easy to find a parking spot. It's really easy to find whatever you want. It's really easy to get a basket. It's really easy to flow throughout the store. But man, I haven't even got inside yet and it's like hella busy. This store is a zoo right now. I'm vlogging with my big camera too, by the way. And I need to find, what, four before like dinner plates I just have the item numbers I don't have any photos or pictures this is gonna be a fiasco let's go look could it be those what about these oh what about those could it be those oh I found them though these no, they're these right here. No, they're the blue ones. No, I'm just gonna have to figure this one out. I'll be back. Hey, check this out. Found the plates. Man, I totally forgot to bring a basket. Finally got a basket, now we gotta look for four wooden chairs, two chair pads, and one planner for outside. It should be somewhere around in this area. Hey yo, I look a whole lot better with this in my background. Hmm? Question mark? From IKEA? All hooked up? Yeah, see? Look. Right there, yeah. Can you see me? Ah! 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 Can you see me now? Ah! Oh crap, I still have five more items to get. Hey, need a rug? Need a stack of rugs? See, a whole bunch of rugs here. I've been here five times this week and I haven't noticed the rugs. Did I like miss this section or something? This is all new to me. Now I'm off to the warehouse because I think the items I'm looking for now are gonna be large items. I think I figured it out here. Search, search item number. One, zero, two. Zero, eight, five, three, seven. Search item. And it'll tell me here. Out zero, zero, being four. I'm gonna need four of these guys. I found them, here they go, right here in plain sight. 
Gotta get four of these guys now. Oh, so this is the last item here. And I'm gonna grab a few of these here. And then off I go. This order's done, finally. I got really lucky and just jumped in this really short line. There's just one person ahead of me and then I'm gonna be out of here. Can't wait to get back to the city. Right now it's 12.45 and I haven't really felt my phone vibrate. I haven't really heard of no new requests popping up. We'll have to see. The dinner at lunch rush is over with right now. But I'm sure Taz Rabbit will definitely be busier this afternoon. He is hella busy. I don't know if I would accept too many of these jobs on the weekends anymore. I just started to accept the IKEA jobs just because of the whole, you know, credit card points and the sky miles and all that. This must be a pretty weird angle here, but I'm still at IKEA. There's this huge chair in the middle of IKEA and I'm just like literally sitting in it. That's why I look so weird right now. What I'll do is I'll take the camera and move it over there so you can see it. Traffic is not on my side right now, headed back to the city. This traffic's hella thick. Not like rush hour though. Back in the city now at Whole Foods, about to have some lunch. Check out this crazy lunch I got. All right, first off, we got potatoes and a lot of stuff in here. Got, got salad on top, got asparagus on the bottom. Got potatoes here. Got some some Oakland style vegan cookies, chocolate chip with kettle brand chips. Um, got shirasa here. I said it totally wrong. And the honey ones. I love the honey ones. Honey Dijon. And I got a really sugary drink. Um, lemon lime. The Whole Foods brand. So now I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I'm gonna grow really fast. Duh. Whole Foods now. Just accepted a Task Rabbit job. This job is to pick up a 12 pack of Coors Light and deliver it to, I think it's Golden Gate Park or something like that. I was in Whole Foods, didn't see a 12 pack of Coors Light, but there's Safeway across the street. I'm gonna go over there, pick up a 12 pack of beer. But also, I left my car parked in Whole Foods parking lot. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by that guy who threw some stuff at me. So I'm gonna walk over here, go to Safeway, and then rush back here get my car before... Just got the beer here, walking back to the car. And I can't believe that jerk had enough nerves to throw something at me while I'm walking across the street. It's just city life, guys. Like, like a lot of times, I just don't trip. Like, I'm totally not tripping now, but come on, dude. If I was, like some lunatic some lunatic black dude i could have just straight up went off on you or i could have like hurt you or something but i'm not some lunatic that guy was like totally older i want to say he was in his 50s and i don't know that was just really weird if he was young or if he was like a yuppie i would have like probably reached back and knocked the out of him but by this being some older dude and i don't know maybe he's like drunk or something like i don't want to get involved you know just dropped that order off here in Golden Gate Park. Better Breakers is this like crazy race. Just dropped that order off here at Golden Gate Park and man, that customer was a flirt. She said, oh, thanks Jermaine. I was like, thanks, have a good day.
delivery was in Golden Gate Park and the beach is pretty close so I thought I would just drive down to the beach for a second get out of the car walk around stretch and enjoy the day it's not the not the sunniest California day but I actually like today it's not really bright it's not really windy it's not really hot it's kind of like one of those those normal North Cal days time is 3.44. Don't really know what my plan is for the evening shift. I guess I'll stick around and do caviar, cross my fingers, and get lucky with a few TaskRabbit gigs. I would love to catch a gig going from here to East Bay right now. I would completely stay in East Bay. This is one of my favorite things about living in California. I could go to the beach. And since I moved to the Bay Area, I think I can count the number of times I've been in the beach probably less than 20. Now before I moved to the Bay Area, I was living down in Santa Barbara, and Santa Barbara was, man, I would go to the beach like every day. The beach was awesome, but here, it's like the way of life in the Bay Area is so different from like SoCal. I mean, I just forget the beach exists for the most part. I mean, I should come to the beach more often. Even in the East Bay, like there are, there are like bay beaches that are somewhat nice. I wouldn't really want to go swim in them too much because some of them are a little funky, you know? The water can smell a little bad. I really wish today was a stunning day, but I guess every day can't be a stunning day. And this is a really long walk from the car to the water. The car's like way over there. And the water is like way over there. So I'm gonna keep walking for a little bit. Oh gosh, my feet are like, right now my shoes are completely full of sand. Cause these shoes are just, they're like not the best shoes for the beach or when it's raining or if it's cold outside. Still trying to make it to the beach. This is my like, this is my exercise for today. This feels like a quarter of a mile, but there's no way this is a quarter of a mile. Finally made it to the dark sand. There we have the water there. There's quite a bit of surfers out there. Way over there in the parking lot, I, I couldn't really tell if it was surfers out here or not, but once I get this close, yeah, there's plenty of surfers out there. And that water would be really dang cold right now if I touched it. So I definitely don't want to get my feet wet. So I'd have to deal with wet feet all the way till Oakland. And that's a long way from here, actually. It would take me maybe an hour and a half to get from Oakland from here with all the traffic and lights and I don't know possibly an hour back online now I've been offline for a little bit been on the phone talking to people for quite some time it is 6 53 I'm on a caviar order now I've already picked the order up I'm about to drop this order off this order is really close actually just dropped off that delivery that was pretty dang close Tonight feels like a pretty slow night. I think with beta breakers in town, maybe that has something to do with it. I know a lot of requests are coming in, but they're all really small requests, so I'm not really accepting many, any. It's just one of those nights. I think I'm gonna take off pretty soon. This order is going over to Russian Hill. Then from there, I think I wanna go get some yogurt or something. I'm on the thirsty side. Just drop that order off. And I accepted another order. This next order I accepted is, it's not, the pickup is not that far away from where I am now. And it's going to Soma. And I wanna go to Soma too, cause that's where the Bay Bridge is. So I accepted this one to go in that direction. Hopefully I don't spend a long time at the restaurant waiting on the food to get done. And parking can be semi-tight in this area. But if the food's ready, I can illegally park for a second, run in, grab it, and get out of there before a parking maid writes me a ticket. For a second, run in, grab it, and get out of there before a parking maid writes me a ticket. 